In the realm of American media, few families have left as indelible a mark as the Hearsts. At the helm of the vast Hearst Corporation, the Hearst family has been a force to be reckoned with, shaping the landscape of journalism, publishing, and entertainment for over a century. This sprawling empire, with its roots deeply embedded in the early days of newspaper publishing, has evolved into a multimedia powerhouse. In this video, we embark on a journey through the intricate tapestry of the Hearst family's history, exploring their rise to prominence, their contributions to the media industry, and the enduring legacy they continue to weave. The Early Years The Hearst saga began with the ambitious William Randolph Hearst, a visionary media magnate whose name would become synonymous with American journalism. Born in 1863, Hearst was destined for greatness, inheriting a considerable fortune from his mining magnet father, George Hearst. However, young William had grander aspirations, setting his sights on the world of newspapers. In 1887, at the age of 23, Hearst acquired the failing San Francisco Examiner. It was a bold move that would set the stage for his meteoric rise in the publishing world. Hearst infused the Examiner with sensationalism, innovation, and a flair for the dramatic, transforming it into a must-read publication. His approach, often labeled as yellow journalism, prioritized eye-catching headlines, vivid illustrations, and scandalous stories, captivating a rapidly growing readership. The birth of a media empire. Buoyed by the success of the San Francisco Examiner, Hearst set his sights on conquering the media landscape on a national scale. Over the next few decades, he acquired newspapers across the United States, from the New York Journal to the Chicago American, building a media empire that would become the Hearst Corporation. In 1903, Hearst's influence expanded beyond print media with the launch of Cosmopolitan, a magazine that would go on to become a staple in American culture. This diversification marked the beginning of the Hearst Corporation's foray into various media platforms, a trend that would define its trajectory in the years to come. Hollywood and Beyond The Hearst Corporation's expansion wasn't confined to the written word. In the early 20th century, Hearst ventured into the burgeoning world of film, establishing cosmopolitan productions. His Hollywood connections were not only confined to business, his romantic involvement with actress Marion Davies fueled tabloid fodder, adding another layer to the Hearst legacy. Despite his influence in Hollywood, Hearst's political ambitions took center stage in the 1930s. A two-time congressman, his unsuccessful run for president in 1904 didn't dampen his appetite for political involvement. His newspapers became powerful tools in shaping public opinion, and his influence extended to the corridors of power. Legacy Amidst controversy The Hearst legacy, however, is not without controversy. The family's role in shaping public perception, especially during times of war, has been the subject of scrutiny. Hearst's sensationalist approach to news, exemplified during the Spanish-American War, led to accusations of warmongering. The infamous headline, Remember Maine, To Hell With Spain, is often attributed to his publications, fueling sentiments that played a role in igniting the conflict. The complex relationship between journalism and power reached a zenith during Hearst's time, with critics arguing that his newspapers prioritized sensationalism over truth. Yet, one cannot deny the enduring impact of his media empire, which, despite its flaws, played a pivotal role in shaping American media and culture. A family tradition, the Hearst Corporation, under the leadership of William Randolph Hearst, weathered economic storms and continued to expand its reach. However, his passing in 1951 marked a transition in the family's role. William Randolph Hearst, Jr. took the reins, steering the company through the changing landscapes of media and technology. His tenure witnessed the corporation's diversification into television and investments in emerging technologies. Today, the Hearst Corporation is led by William Randolph Hearst III, the grandson of the media tycoon. The family's commitment to innovation is evident in their embrace of digital media, with the corporation boasting a formidable online presence through websites like Cosmopolitan.com and L.com. Their portfolio has also expanded to include ownership of prominent television channels, including ESPN and ANMBE. 
the Hearst Corporation's influence extends beyond the United States, with a global footprint in more than 70 countries. Magazines, newspapers, digital media, television. This multimedia conglomerate stands as a testament to the family's ability to adapt and thrive in an ever-evolving media landscape. Philanthropy and Cultural Impact Beyond their media dominance, the Hearst family has made significant contributions to philanthropy and cultural preservation. The Hearst Foundation, established in 1946 by William Randolph Hearst, has been a driving force in supporting education, health, and social service organizations. The Hearst family's journey from the early days of newspaper publishing to the digital age is a captivating tale of innovation, controversy, and enduring influence. Their media empire, spanning newspapers, magazines, television, and digital platforms, has left an indelible mark on American culture. Thanks for joining me on this journey today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content.